Next is the Columbus Blue Jackets. Moving on for a season preview with the Columbus Blue, uh, Blue Jackets. Let's get into it. Um, this team had a horrible year last year. That's how we're going to start, <laughs> really. Um, that's what they, you know, were. They were horrible. After signing Johnny Gaudreau, top free agent, to being one of the worst in the league. Everything went wrong for them last year. For the coach, they brought in Mike Babcock. And, you know, they added a lot of things. One of the problems was defense. And they got right to it, and they added a lot of guys. We'll see how it benefits them. The improvement next year. Um, and, yeah, let's get into what they have done between drafting, trading, uh, signing, um, a lot of bunch, of bunch of things, right? Look at your forward group. You had Johnny Gaudreau. You know, he didn't have the best of year, but he had a good year. Um, you know, trying to get adjusted to Columbus after being with Calgary his whole career. Uh, Patrick Laine is your franchise guy also. Bugeno is your captain. Sean Corrales is a good center. Eric uh, Robinson is a good depth guy. Uh, Texier, he's coming back after messing a whole year. Uh, Olivier, you know, good tough guy. Sandpaper guy. Uh, they drafted one of the top, you know, centers last year. Uh, or in the 2023 draft, in Adam Fantilli, one of the solid, you know, players they got for prospects is Ken Johnson. He's going to have a solid year after having a really good year last year. Uh, Phil Machinko is a really good, solid player. Uh, Emil Benstrom is another guy. And you have Liam Foody. That is your center. I mean, that is your forwards you have. Not bad uh, whatsoever. Pretty solid there. And um, you look at some other forwards here. Um, prospects, they have a lot of good prospects. Cole Sonjo, um, he had, didn't have the best year last year, but in his rookie year, he had a really solid year, like 18 years old. Um, Luca Del Bells, um, Belzo is pretty good, too. Um, you know, Gina Koff and the other guy, um, just trying to get, you know, opportunities. They just don't go in the back of night for him, but he's pretty solid, too. Um, uh, those are some guys. Ronikoff. Uh, he's Russian, you know, from the KHL. He'll probably be coming to play in the AHL, something like that. We'll see how he does. Pretty solid numbers he's got. Good to see. And looking on defense, we have here um, who they add is Damon Saverson, Ivan Provorov. They had those two guys to help on defense with offense and defense. Um, they signed, you know, same Damon Saverson to an eight-year deal, a sign-in trade. Basically, and then they got Provo from the uh, Flyers. Uh, Gabranson they have for the next three years. Uh, Peaky they have for 2.5 million for the next three years. Barkers, Bokers for the next two years. Not as you know, he was drafted by the Hawks, is Bokers, but he really hasn't gotten to like what we know him or what he could have done. Um, somehow, but hey, he's 23, maybe he's gonna have a solid year next year. Blankenberg, Bernie, um, Tim Bernie's another guy. So you have some defense there, and then, um, you know, some prospects, some young guys. The best health care is there in ways uh, David Jocek, uh, Dayton Matchman, um, Samuel Natsu. You know, you have um, we may not Silver see Dale, it, and you have Bruce Nielsen. So you have some guys there it lets us um, on defense, not in young this guys alone. who can make the and lineup, deserves a healthcare day lineup, partner who obviously never can make that. One um, who's there that goes, for what matters. Sure. United Healthcare. Um, you're looking there at for what and even the goaltending has changed a little, right? Um, but looking at even defense, Zach Kravinsky. Yeah, how yeah. could I forget about him? Jake Bean's another guy. Um, some defense there. Um, on injured reserve, they will be um ready for next year. They should be, and Justin Doe for off Dan for for also. On uh, in goal here you have Elvis mostly having a horrible season. He put in the defense, the goaltending. Uh, but we'll find out next year. You know how it is. It's the defense, the goaltending. Uh, four years left at five point four million for Mosleykins. Um, Torosov he's another guy. He's okay, not bad. Backup guy, solid backup option at twenty four years old. So. Be interesting how that turns out for them after moving on from Corposalo at the deadline and now he's with Ottawa. Um interesting stuff. Do they make the playoffs? I think it's gonna be tough. I think they'll be close to it, to a wild card spot, but I do not think they're gonna make it. Um they have a lot of guys ahead of them. Detroit, Buffalo, Boston, Tampa Bay, um, and then looking at Metro, um, 
you know, the Devils, well, they're going to be top, uh, you know, top of the division. Like the Islanders, um, the Capitals, the Penguins, um, you know, guys like, teams like that, uh, trying to get in the wild card or in the division, top three in the division. So we'll see what happens. But I personally do not think they're going to make it. But definitely going to be better. And they got some guys who want to stay, which is cool. Fantilli, who they drafted, he wanted to be part of Columbus. He's going to have that change. For once, someone wants to be part of Columbus, right? A lot of guys left and they're like, oh, all my friends left, so let me just leave too. You know, things like that. So um, we'll see how everything goes. They still have $4.7 in cap space. So they could still use a little bit more if they want to. But... Um, they, only if they want to. Let's see, do they have any PTOs? Yes, they do. Um, Nato, Aaron Dell, Snow. That's right. So some guys there. Um, good to see. We'll see if they make it or not. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye.